Yes, uh, I have two projects that are not functioning at all. That's what I'm telling you. I'm seeing you losing the job, but I'm hearing God that God will restore you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. God will restore you. Your enemies will be ashamed. Amen. So as I pray for you, I'm seeing restoration coming to you. Amen. It's free. I greet all the saints in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm here to testify about the wonderful work the Lord is doing in our lives. Let me start here. It was in between 2012 and 2014. My children were busy on the TV watching uh, uh, Christian uh, channels. And uh, all of a sudden, I had a sound as we busy scrolling on a TV. Of a wonderful and blessing voice that was singing. And uh, I told my children, please, can you stop there? I want to see who is singing and where they are based. But what is amazing is that I've been living in this era for many years, but what happened that day is amazing. And they went back and they found that it was a church called Charis. And I asked them, where is based? And we Googled and found that it's based in Tembisa. And it's amazing because I'm also a resident of Tembisa, but I don't know why it was hidden to us. So I left everything and I went to sit with my children and I was watching it, Mama singing it, and it was a blessing to me. I said, no, we'll have to go and look out for the church. Mama, when she sings, is a blessing, it touches the lives of many people. From that day, I was connected to Charis, but as a believer who used to go to other churches, and I went regular to visit them when they were busy based at Win Mandela. Our first first visit were so much blessed, were touched, and there were prophecies there. But because, as I said, we were just visitors coming from another church, local church, we went back to our church. As they were years went by, um, because I'm self-employed, I encountered challenges in my business. Uh, just to cut this story short, is that we had to borrow money because we're not compliant. So we had to borrow money and renew our certificate. Because there was a project that was coming and was promising. After spending almost 75% of the money make, doing the preparation of the project, we found that the project is no longer there. And this project, I mean, this, the money one we're using, we borrowed it from loan sharks. And we promised that by month and, and our project will be on and we'll pay everything, including interest. If I'm not mistaken, we're left only with 3,500 rand. Then we decide that where are we going to invest? I mean, when are we going to invest 3,500 so we can pay the whole money repaid, including interest?
ka ra e putsho re re tlo investa mo ka i 3.5 yo go re go no khumana challenge re ya dimileng we looked all over but finally we decided no let us take the rest and give it to the lord ra khumana o re ka mo ka one re itse re ka mo ka ra ene la morena because even if maybe we try to use it by whatever it will never multiply to the point that we will be able to pay out the loan the loan shark ka re ka re le re ka investor o ranya ko u hudisha e ka se holo ya ba yentshi o fitla skoloto se re se direleng go machonese so then we have to decide which church do we take this man to ra tsona go tsa sepetho re kere challenge jo le risha go kere keng efeng to the church in which we are fellowshiping or somewhere else ke re ke re tsena go yona go ba go re ko ngwe na and we came in agreement in conclusion that we have to take this man to charis ra dumelana ka moga yo re petris tsa charis We took the money. Ra cha chelete. It was on Sunday. Ne ile ka sonta. We gave. Ra niela. And that was our last money. And ile chelete na ma fele. And remember this money we borrowed from loan shark. And ile gopela chelete re ya dimle ko mashonese. We were left with two weeks to prepare the money. Ne re setse ka beke tse pedi go re lokise chelete re kolotang. Guess what? After service. Ka mara service. When we were driving back home. E re sepela re ya ko hae. A call came in. Kolo ya mogala wa tsena. Uh one of my friends who is based in Pretoria said there somebody has been looking for you I've been somebody has been looking for you for three months. I'm fonela re go na le motho na ntse ya go nyaka go di tshe thare tsa u feta. And he lost his your, your number. He wants to go and do his business. Are o la tletse ke di phone number tsa gago e u nyaka o tsa my word ra business le yena. So immediately I called this person. Kana go ena e o ka mo fonela motho. He said please come tomorrow because I've been looking for you for three months. Are ke gopela le tle ka bushuka re ke gale ke le nyaka go di tshe tharo. That it was our first miracle to see in this church. Ne le motlholo wa rena wa mathomo ro boneng re le ka mo. Amen. I went there and we started the job. Ka ya go wera thoma moshomo. In two weeks the whole man was paid off loan loan, loan shark. Ka beke tshe pedi tshe tshe ka mka be pate tshe ko moshonesa. But because of the bond that we had with the church in which we were fellowshiping. Marakal ba kala bond se gwera se ne re na le sona le kereke ne re tsena go yona. We still went back to our church. Ra boela morao go kereke nya re ena. Let him try to squeeze everything because of time. Ere ke le ko bo mo re pana kala ba kala nako. Yes went by every time when we encounter a challenge in our business we run to charis. Mengwa ga ntse ya e sepela nako ka maka re tlhakana le mathata re tshabela charis. And the charis will solve our problem and we'll go back to our church again. Charis ya lokisha matatas no lo ka rabuela morao ko re tswang sometimes we'll give sometimes we'll receive blessing and we we'll go there and give our tithes to the church in which we're serving na ko ngwe re ya tla modumba re shogo fa tsa ra tshe ya tithe ya rena ra isha ko ne re tsena gona kereke finally in 2019 ka 2019 the lord visited me in a dream modumba ba nketela ka toro i saw mama and the apostle they were coming to the church in which i was going to pay a visit ka bona mama le dedi ba tla kereke nge ne ke lo etela ko yona and i was amazed I, i've never seen this man servant of god visiting another church locally kile ka makala ka ra sinki ke ba bone ba etse tshe kereke nngwe mo gaufi so as we are entering the tent i saw them looking around go jwale ka e ke tsena mo kereke ka ba bona ba lebelela and they said oh there's a man we've been looking for ba ba mpona ba ro motho re monyakang shule come here come here ba mpitsa so i followed him ka ba shala morao they said we have something special for you that has god has sent us to give you this I, I will never mention by a name the man of god knows because i told him and they still because of the bond that of the, the church they were saving it was just a normal dream But the problem is that we are facing challenge in our business. Finally it came to me to say no man what I saw it means that I must go to charity the solution is there So I came we came with my family to charity I think it was October 2019. Ratla October 2019 lila palaka ka monka. We start a fellowship. We left our church. And uh, October 2020. October 
we had a, a meeting with the man of God one-on-one. -on -one. As I was getting there, the man of God said, where do you he asked me, where do you fellowship? Before I answered, he said, it's because what I see in you is not good for people who are fellowshipping with us here. He said, where is your wife? So I said, she outside. I went to call her and he prayed for her, he delivered us. You know, when you go there, you can't say everything that God tells is your secret. But what is amazing, the same thing that I saw in a dream is the same thing the man of God told me. He said, and every Sunday when we come, we'll hear testimonies of people testifying of what God has done to them. And they were asking, where is that, the fulfillment of what the man of God prophesied for? How long are we going to wait for this? And then indeed in December, God answered us. I was appointed to run one project in December. But there was a problem of finances with, in the space of two weeks. We had to stop. January, I was appointed for another one. Also had a challenge of finances. The project doesn't have money. We have to wait for money. And remember, I'm a father. I must take care of my family. There's nothing in the house. Every time when I come to church, I will ask God, when are you going to deliver me? I thank God. Last Sunday, uh, Prophet Andres was going around and laying hands on us. Prophet Andres For the first time, I saw as I was coming on our line there a light that was coming like a shining light on me. When he reached at, my, at where I was standing, he prayed for me. And I could see uh, today is my day. He pushed me once, twice, and thrice. Mm. I, I said, yeah, today is my day for deliverance. This, this push can't be for vain. And indeed, he said to me, uh, you are about to lose your job. I said, it's true, man of God, I have two projects, none of them is working. So he said to me, don't worry because God is restoring you. And your enemies will be ashamed. Meaning there are enemies that were busy oppressing me. It was Sunday. On Monday I got a call. Tuesday must come start the project. So as I stand before you, I have one of these projects on. I thank God for deliverance and everything is doing in this church. God has been speaking to us, but it was difficult for us to grab because of the church in which we were. Amen. Amen.